Schindler hydraulic air machine, although technically not fully Schindler. Look. Not money. It's a controller. Dual elements. These go up, uh, I believe, five floors. And these things are huge. They're gigantic. Look at all that oil. These things must get wet. Getting a lot of action out of these. I have a friend sending them up and down for me right now. I believe these have dual pumps. Although we're going to open up the tank later with the help of my friend. I'm not going to disclose the, who it is. Look at this. This is, this is the oil cooler right here, MEI. See, these are MEI. I thought these were Schindler, the other ones. Okay, it's going down. I'll talk for it now. Yeah, look, so these are, hmm. So these have whatever the heck this brand is, E-L-M-O. Like Elmo, I don't know, it's E-L-M-O. Oh, I get these. I get these. So these are, these were our MEI hydraulic. These were our, were, Schindler was going to install these, but Schindler couldn't, so the building chose MEI. So MEI installed uh, these uh, generic pump units, and Schindler put in their own buttons. Very weird. Guide wheels. Pretty crazy motor room, you know. The place is big. These elevators are huge. They have a 10,500 pound capacity. MCE controllers. So these were in, these are maintained by Schindler Elevator, installed by MEI. MEI installed these uh, hydro, hydraulic, I, that's a weird name with uh, these ELMO motors. I'm not gonna pronounce it ELMO because that just sounds stupid. Look at that. Oil leakage. These were low on oil, but just the slightest bit low on oil last time I filmed these bad boys. Pretty awesome. Look at this. Main switches. Did you send them up afterwards? Did you? All right, can you let's open up this one right here? See, they have handles. Most of them don't. Well, maybe I did send them up. Do you need to? Sure, yeah. Just so that we can uh, hear, hear it activate. Yeah, look, these have dual pumps. See, each one of these has dual pumps. These are pretty huge. I knew that these would have dual pumps. These things are beasts of a submersible ones. I thought these... At first, when I first found these, I thought they were going to be dry power, but not submersible. I wrote them. I was like, what? It's submersible? Crazy. Been wanting to get in the machine for this thing a long time. Pretty dang epic. My friend is going to send it up, and then he's coming back in here to open up the tank so that we can see inside. What brand of oil they're using? Sitco.
better one then. Look, hold that open a bit, please. Look, oh dang, it has dual motors. what's known as a dual pump setup so most of the time dual pump setups are dry powered but for really heavy duty submersible 10, ones yeah pounds. for really heavy duty submersible ones they don't have just one motor in that oil look see there's two of them there it goes see how big those valves that's look at how huge that valve is wow it's the biggest valve i've ever seen just shut these things are huge though is there any way to hold these lids open these are guide rails so you know how the guide rails go in between these so the guide rails go in between these and these wheels gl glide along those guide rails so it keeps the elevator in position was that the problem with the Marriott Marquis? Probably. I think one of those wheels was jammed up, so it was making a horrible racket. Oh, God. Did you get that on film? Yeah, I did. Post it? Yep, I am going to post it. Look, look see how these have dual motor, motors? Yeah, Elmo Motor Company, yep. And here's the oil cooler made by MEI, so it looks like these were installed by MEI. Like a top flight system. It, it is in pretty good condition. These were low in oil last time we heard. That one's almost low in oil. Yeah, it's getting close to getting low in oil. Because that was very dangerously close. Like, I am unsure of what that is right there. Well, I'm not. Uh, these are probably like the door operators. Yeah the door operator motor that opens and closes the doors. So these look pretty good. That blue one looks like it's going to run down over there. Yeah, that looks like the old one, those new ones. Mm -hmm. Look at how much oil they have in here. One, two, two bear, two like containers of it, buckets full of oil. One to catch drips from that leaking uh, shutoff valve. Another container full of oil. Then they have an entire freaking barrel, barrel of it over here. Look at this. Schindler elevator. No, these are mineral spirits. Does this one open up? This may be scrapped down. Is there any better way to hold this one up, though? Get the controller thing over. Two. Two sixty-five horsepower submersible motors for this bad boy. Look at that valve. Look, full of oil. That's a monster. Yep, that valve is the biggest I've ever seen. Maximum pressure six hundred psi. Are you able to send this one up? Just this one, like all the way up to the top. Like maybe send it up to this floor two, then five, so that while it's so that it only goes up. So that it only goes up a floor while you're walking back here and we'll be able to have it open for the rest of the trip upwards. Floor two and uh, the top floor, please. Okay. Alright, yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Air conditioner's pretty darn big. The scale of this. Yep, finally bringing these Duracell flashlights with me. Got three of them for a present, Christmas present really. 
pretty and awesome my dad gave them to me for Christmas. Really nice. Oop, controller's going a lot. Keypad freight. Looks like one of these is passenger. Both of these are technically passenger, but this one has the option to be a freight when I... It, listen to that startup. Wow. Show the labels. right below the top. You can close it until it starts up again because I don't want to strain on your hand too much. I'll wait for it. I can hold it. All right. Good. Did you send it up like every floor? Yep. Wow. All right. Tell me when you're gonna close it because I don't want to get my hand hit. These, this thing is a monster. Look at this valve. That thing is huge. Imagine the amount of PSI going for it. Even with that big muffler, these things are already really loud. Is it at the top? Might be. So it's not too low oil. This one, oil. this one is not low in oil at all. This one has a very nice topped off oil tape, full of oil. As if that's at the top floor, that means it has the right amount of oil. What? Right here, it seems like right in this uh, right in this uh, right in this gasket, right in between where these two parts of the pipeline join together before that uh, curve. Right here. Yep. Bad gasket, it seems like. Now, shall we? Yeah. So, what these two pens here, red and blue? So, what these are, an oil cooler has a motor down here that sucks oil out of the bottom of the tank, pushes it through a pump, and then through a radiator with a fan on it, and then pushes it back into the tank so it cools down the oil. And what's that white thing there? This white thing, that's an oil filter. So it also filters the oil while it cools it. And this is a uh, temperature sensor, so it monitors. It it the pipe and it off. Yeah, and it also yeah, filters it too. If you had a very hot oil temperature, it could potentially cause uh, the viscosity issues where the seals wouldn't work properly. Yeah. It could also overheat the pump. Yeah. Going down. Look, see, these have, each each elevator car has a camera and the phone in Both of them going down. Let's get it on the... This company maintains these. Schettler maintain, maintains these. MEI, Minnesota Elevator Inc. installed these. These are hydro, hydraulic car units. It's a so weird, uh, that's not how you spell hydraulic, but um, okay. Clear and not know how you spell it, but cool. Yep. Hydraulic or something. Hydraulic. Hydraulic. 10,500 pounds. It's over yep. five tons. Yeah, I know that. That's not over five. Is it? Yep. 2,000 pounds is one ton. That that just shows how that's why these things need two pumps inside of each one. They're insanely big. This is the Yep, this is for so when the oil gets to a certain temperature, the oil cooler turns on because it isn't constantly running. It's not running right now. It was running when we first came in the machine room, although it turned off. 
Hmm. Must yeah. have meant it was getting a little too warm, huh? Yeah, well, anyways, that's it. Well, excessive usage sometimes make it kick on. Anyways, that is it.